Hi guys, welcome back to the Coal Factory. It's Raquel. Today's video is going to be a very short video and I'm going to talk about the Scala products and the price drop. So guys, subscribe, like, do all of that good stuff. Now before I share my thoughts on it, I know that there are going to be some people in the natural hair community in South Africa that are going to say why is she sharing her opinion or who is she to be sharing her opinion on it? And very quickly, my name's Raquel and I'm from the Coal Factory. I am the Coal Factory. I have contributed to the natural hair community consistently for years and I have tons of tutorials and reviews on my channel. Also, when stuff does happen in the natural hair community, I do share my thoughts, like what happened with the goodie bags at the Cape Town Natural Hair Festival. Also, I have a Let's Talk series, so check, the, check those videos out. I share my opinions on brands in South Africa. Also, I think at the top of the list, I am a consumer. I have spent so much of money on natural hair products and yeah so I'm just gonna give my five cents so I'll start off by saying that I've never purchased any Scala products I've never purchased but I have quite a lot of them and I did receive lots of Scala products from Divine Coal so thank you so much Divine Coals and we did work together as well I have shared lots of the products that they've given me with lots of people and yeah, I try it out and then make the purchase um, afterwards. But I stand corrected because prices have changed over the years. I'm not sure how long, you know, people could have, could or have been able rather to buy Scala in South Africa. But I think the tub started at around 350 Rand, I think. I stand corrected. I think prices then went down to maybe 330 Rand. And now you can buy Scala in different places for 90 Rand. So from 350 all the way to 90 Rand or from 330 or 350 or 300 Rand down to 90 Rand is a big, big drop. Now, the natural hair community was in a bit of a fuss last week and I'm filming this week because I feel like filming, to be honest with you guys. I'm not in, you know, the full routine anymore or else this video would have been up a lot earlier. People have messaged me, I've spoken to people in the natural hair community and a lot of them were just really upset. Those that obviously had bought Scala in the past, they felt like I spent, I'm just going to say 300 Rand as a baseline because I know they were like 350 Rand, but I'm just using 300 Rand as an example. A lot of them felt like I bought three tubs i bought two tubs i bought one tub it was 300 rand how is it now 90 rand now let's be honest about this when these products dropped in south africa it doesn't matter where you bought them it doesn't matter who you bought them from but when these products dropped in south africa natural hair community be honest with yourself this was all the rave. 300 Rand, 350 Rand, an absolute bargain. A co-wash, a treatment, a styler, a leave-in, whatever you were using this for, 350 Rand was a bargain for a thousand grams. So those who bought the products at that time, you knew it was worth it. And you know, the prices have changed and now it's 90 Rand. So I kind of understand those who are upset because they could have bought three for the original price now that it's 90 Rand. And then for the other people who are now purchasing it at 90 Rand, one, they're finally getting to try a product they've wanted to try and maybe they couldn't afford it. 
those who have tried like the different ones now they buy other tubs that they can now try out as well so from a consumer's point of view and i'm really coming from a consumer's point of view i'm sure people who sell scala are going to watch this video um but i'm always a consumer first so from a consumer's point of view i can now try all the scala that i want amazing from businesses perspectives you can now sell more products so the price drop is very much beneficial to everyone but here's why the community still has questions so divine calls i think they can be um commended on this they did do a live last week and i joined the live a little bit late. I forgot to put a reminder on my phone, but I did catch quite a bit of the live where they did come on to explain a little bit about the price drop. Um, and I think that a lot of people really appreciated that because like the community just wasn't happy. Like this price drop, way too drastic. So when I say the community still has questions, they still do. Now, the consumer is going to move on because this is cheaper. I can buy it cheaper. They're going to move on. Um, the businesses are going to move on as well. They're going to continue to sell, you know, the products at 90 Rand. But the big question is, and again, brands can probably have an answer, but I'm not coming from that perspective. I'm coming from a consumer's perspective. The, I'm just going to say importer for lack of a better word. How it is that they manage to get such a significant discount has lots of people still confused. I think it's great. Wonderful. Price drop. But it's still like, how, what, COVID, importing, everybody got questions about that. And that's just the honest truth. I think that things have died down because, as I said, the consumer moves on very quickly and the businesses move on quickly as well. So as somebody who consumes a lot of natural hair products, I just wanted to kind of just talk about it a bit briefly because it was something that did shake the natural hair community in South Africa just a little bit because lots of people are fascinated with Scala. Lots of people want to try Scala out. 350 Rand, 300 Rand was a good price, but 90 Rand is even better. So if you've always wanted to try it out, go ahead and try it out. If you want to know some of my thoughts, there is a video on my channel. You can check that out. I also have other videos as well where I have used um, the Scala conditioner. I did a detangling video. So if you're interested in the shampoo and conditioner, the video I posted on being a bridesmaid, I feature the Scala shampoo. So throughout like some of my videos, I do use the Scala products, you know, in between. Um, but I think I have one dedicated Scala video on my channel. So you can check that out. But yeah, the natural hair community, I think we have recovered a little bit from the big, massive price drop. And I think either way, it's it's good for the consumer. It's good that the consumer can now just pay 90 Rand for all of this product. And finally, last thought about it. What I like about the change in price is that it's 90 Rand across the board. So it doesn't matter who you choose to buy Scala from. What I've seen online is that that business is selling for 90 Rand. That business is selling for 90 Rand. That business is selling for 90 Rand. Um, so as consumers, we can choose who it is that we want to give our business to and the price is all the same. It's cutting out the competition a lot and in that way, it safeguards the consumer. So 
try it out guys it's only 90 rand so just you know my little two cents five cents um on what kind of shook us for a week but yeah drop your thoughts down below as a consumer and i'm hoping that companies that sell scala read the comments so guys voice your opinions in the comments on what you are really feeling about this major price drop are you happy are you sad do you not even care <laughs> you know because sometimes like really do we care so yeah put it down below overall for me from the coal factory i do think it's something positive that we now have an affordable i mean 90 rand also it kind of kicks the dark and lovely um three in one out because that one you know was becoming very popular it was kind of rival <laughs> my tongue is tied now it was rival guys you know the word that i'm trying to say rival but rivaling the um dark and lovely one so yeah i think overall it's just very very positive for the community thanks for watching guys and you'll see me again bye